Yeah, today is my favorite trick tutorial, so just roll, grab your hook and let's go. From all this joy, I didn't introduce myself, so hi, I'm Kafri, and this channel is about hula hooping. And this is the chest roll, which I'm going to show you now how to do. So, at first we'll begin with the entrance, so you want the hook to enter your arm between your thumb and pointing finger. So, practice this one, maybe by doing this little hand roll, like the palm of your hand roll. Okay, so you want the hook to enter between your thumb and pointing finger and just roll on the top of your hand. You can catch it with the other hand, it doesn't matter at this point. It's just to, you know, get the sensation of the hook rolling on your hand. You don't want to throw it up, okay? So you don't want to actually relieve it this way. You want to roll it, let it enter your body in full contact all the time. Once you have it, you might even want to go for the forearm roll, so like this, and drop, okay? Practice these ones just to get the feeling how it is when the hoop is rolling on your body. Afterwards, you might want to try roll it under your shoulder. The final movement through your chest to the other shoulder will, will require creating a path from your body. And also a super important tip, which was given to me by my friend, and it was like a game changer in all body rolls, was that once the hoop enters your body, you want to exhale all the air out. So, Prepare your body, move it a little down with this exhale and create flatter surface on your chest. But in general, it works for me with all the rolls, so it's not just about the chest roll. Okay, so once you are ready, you want to swing the hoop on the side, let it enter between the thumb and the pointing finger and roll until your shoulder. If you are ready, if you feel like you are not afraid about doing this, try to bend a little towards the back, but I'm not saying any super back bend, nothing like this. Just slightly bend, open your chest a little, exhale, and create this path for your hoop, okay? I have this tendency of over straightening my arms in the chest roll so i'm trying to create this little rounded position in here just not to overdo it anyway if i'm in my flow i do it like this <laughs> as you can see i bend it a little more towards the back because i feel where the hoop is going and what it needs okay so let's go back to our practice first was the hand the forearm and maybe you want to go onto your arm and let it drop, you know, just to catch the idea of going on your whole arm onto your shoulder, all right? Then preparing the chest, so exhaling the air, bending a little towards the back, creating this little rounded or straight line if you have these super straight arms. And letting the hoop roll all around through your chest, okay? Afterwards, you want to catch it or let it drop and just place your, your hand inside and enter the hand spin, okay? So there are two options. Okay, now let's go into the resume part, which is super important and I'm really asking you to watch it. Chest rollers. Why is it so important that you stay for this part? Because if I would like to fit all the info in the tutorial part, you will probably be gone by now, okay? So, you can go from both sides, right to left, through my chin, and from left to right, okay? Then, the entrance, as I told you, it is like maybe the easiest way to enter between your thumb and pointing finger in the beginning. Although, some people teach to enter between the pointing and middle finger like this. So you can also try it out. Hop. And there is also the third way, which is you turn, you switch the, the hand like this. And you enter by pushing it with your pointing finger like this. So here. Okay. Let's try it out now. Okay, 
For me, the best way would be to between these two fingers, but try it out and check out which one works for you best, okay? There is also another trick, which is kind of a separate trick, but I'm going to show you it right now because it might be helpful in understanding the body rolls in general. So it's like a bonus trick in this tutorial that you place the hoop from the inside, from the front on your palm, and you have it like this, attached behind your elbow, and you direct the palm of your hand towards the other shoulder to enter like the mm, half chest roll. Up. Oh, I didn't enter the second arm. Let's try it again. Up. Okay, so maybe this one will be helpful. Enter from the front on the hand, support it with the elbow and enter the chest directly. All right, so I really hope it was helpful. Chest roll is one of these tricks that require time and practice. So give yourself patience and calm, you know, meditate, enter it slowly. And I really wish you good luck. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comments below. Also remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and you know, help me grow with this channel. And I see you in the next tutorial.